anything else. But then we'll be done. All right, last one. So in this example, did I even turn that on? I plugged that in? OK. There you go. OK. So in this example, basically, again, we're going to apply the to property. So I get 8x minus 6 minus 8 equals 4 plus 2x. Again, remember, these are on the same side. Even if you had two x's on the same side, you can combine them, right? So they're on the same side. So you don't have to use inverse operations. Like the minus 5 on both sides, you don't have to do that. They're on the same side. So we get 8x minus 14 equals 4 plus 2x. So what I was saying is now we want to obtain the variable on the same side. My hint was make the variable always positive. You want to get rid of the variable that has the smaller value, which in this case you can see that 2x is smaller than 8x. So I am going to get rid of 2x. So 2x minus 2x goes to 0x, which is just 0. And you guys can see by doing that, I now obtain an equation where x is positive. See, it's positive 6x. You could have got rid of the 8x and solved over there, but then you would have had a negative 6x, which I just don't like to do. It's not wrong. Now, since I'm running out of work, let's see. You would add 14, right? You undo addition and subtraction first. So you'd add 14 which would give you 18. And then you divide by 6, which would give you 3. Right? I'm just kind of doing a little bit of work because I'm short on time. So x equals 3 is your final answer. All right. Um, you guys can go ahead. If you did not